speak to most mothers and they'll say that birth is the happiest day of their lives. Caring for the health and well-being of their children become job one. But a medical breakthrough can actually prevent many illnesses and birth defects while babies are still in the Thanks. womb. Surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Diallo is here with details. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. And while when you think about it, it sounds like an impossibility to be able to operate on a baby still in the mother's womb. How would that work? It's not science fiction. First of all, you know, women, when they get pregnant, they go to the doctor, and there are so many tests and things done now, and each of them is filled with anxiety. Some of them, on the ultrasound, we can find problems with the baby. So now you're thinking about the baby's health. Some of the problems you can find are malformed spinal cords. The lower part of your spine is just isn't closed up, and so you got to tell the parents, your kid, when they're born, most likely are going to be paralyzed. Mm. Not just that, their sexual function, their going to the bathroom part is going to be uh, debilitated. And so that's hard news to deliver. Now you can tell them you have two options. One, we can wait till the baby's born and then try to do a corrective surgery, which works okay. Or about the fifth, sixth month, we can go in into your, you know, the uterus will fill up. You can go in, open up the uterus like you're doing a C section, work on the baby, stitch up the baby, stitch up the uterus. Stip, stitch up the surface of the belly and the mom and let her carry the baby to term. How risky is that for mom and baby? Great question. It's not that risky for mom, but it is risky for the baby being delivered preterm. So the parents have to take a, they have to make a decision. Do I risk losing the baby or having them come a little early? Or do I go for the chances of having them be more functional when they're born? Wow, it's, how do you, how do you cancel, so, cancel somebody in the course of that? You know, it, it's one of the most complicated things. Right away, they're counseled. Some, some patients and some patients choose to abort the baby. Some patients carry the baby out. And so they're always facing decisions. After the baby is born, we have to do brain surgical procedures and spine surgical procedures on these type of babies. And so along the way, you're counseling them with risk benefits and alternatives. You know what? It's simply not easy and people choose different things based on faith, based on experience, based on it resources. It just occurred to me though, unlike any other patient, you, you can't then get out the patient to care for them because you've, you've essentially closed back up the belly and the, the uterus and the baby is again in vitro. And you, as a surgeon or, or as a medical uh, person, you can't care for the patient in the same way. That's a great, that's a great point. You know, what if the baby has a complication yeah. in the mother's spine? So there is a way of doing it where it's absorbable stitches and you put them back in the womb and the mom carries it out. Sometimes they deliver early. We give them little medicine so they don't contract prematurely oh. to squeeze that baby out. But Gosh. it's uh, it can often, be a godsend for parents. How often is this happening? Is this something that is happening Very infrequently. Very infrequently. Infrequent. So this is a great question. Again, we, we want to introduce this concept. It happens very infrequently, but they actually did an eight-year study. This has been going on for eight years. 200 uh, mothers were enro uh, enrolled, and now we're finding as the kids are two, three, four, and five, How they they're wear. walking on less crutches. They're wearing less <gasps> orthotics Look than the ones who did. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Um, so it's fascinating. We'll see where it goes, but I thought it's a good uh, concept for Mother's Little Day. Little medical miracles just before Mother's Day. I was going to say, just based on your experience of what you're just saying, what just you to each his own, but what would yeah. your advice be? Are you finding it's better to do that, correct the surgery, before? I had I have three boys. You guys know that. We talk about them all the time. A couple of the ultrasounds, my wife's an OBGYN. They were abnormal. This looks wrong. This looks high. Your blood test is high. It's just an anxiety state. And I think when you get an ultrasound that shows the baby is this way, I would lean towards getting that corrective surgery because I've seen kids at Children's Hospital LA, Children's Hospital San Diego, and they're in the hallways. They're fantastic, but they're paralyzed and they're on wheelchairs. And I think when you can give your kid that independence, that small risk of losing the kid, for me personally, it's just a personal statement, I would try to say, let's see if we can keep them mobile and let's go for this. Mm -hmm. um, it's a personal decision. Yeah. Really interesting topic. Wow, uh, really more well, information about this topic and other, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, this is why... Wow. Mm -hmm. And, he, yeah. and, Dr. John and he still looks like this. Surgeon and scientist. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I know. He's got his own section on our website, <laughs> ktla.com slash Dr. John Dial. We love when you come to visit. Happy Mother's Thank Day. Thank you. you